Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I'm here to talk about another internship program that is Spark internship program. Every year, this is Spark internship program is organized by different IITs. This year, this uh, internship program is organized by IIT Roorkee. Now, uh, what are the eligibility criteria and how you how you can apply for this? What is the deadline? I'll go. I'm going to discuss all of that in this particular video, right? So this is the official website of Spark, and if you go to the official website of IIT Roorkee, there also you'll be able to find out under the announcement and achievement section. You will be able to find out under this uh, notice board. Here again, you will be able to find out the Spark uh, internship program. Uh, but I'll give you link to reach out to this official website directly in the description of this video. You'll be able to direct directly come up to this particular page. Now, as it says that uh, welcome to Spark 2023, portal is now open for student applications. And this is an internship program. This year it is going to be held at IIT Roorkee. And IIT Roorkee is organizing institute which uh, has organized funded Spark fellowship for the internship with a weekly stipend of rupees 2500 per week. So uh, 2500 per week will be the internship which you are going to get. If you get selected in this particular internship program along with that you'll also get a project funded internship in uh, 2023 okay so this is the uh, in stipend which you will get and uh, the benefit is that you will be having you will be attending a project funded internship right uh, application deadline as it says it's 31st of march so that's the last date to apply for this and result announcement will be done in the second week of april and the start of the program will be from the second week of May. So these are the tentative deadlines of the program. If you come down a little bit, it says program objective. So it, the program's objective is to provide research exposure to the interested undergraduate and postgraduate students in IIT Roorkee. Uh, it is also going to help the students to understand how the research is being carried out in the on in that particular institute. Also, if somebody is having interest towards the research, he or she is going to get benefit of this. All right. If you come a little down, this is the eligibility criteria. So this website is super interactive. You can look upon this. If you open it in laptop, it looks much better. On mobile also, you can read that. But yeah, it looks better on laptop and on the bigger screens. So, so the eligibility criteria is that the student who are currently enrolled and have completed at least two semesters of undergraduate degree that could be either B architecture or BE or BTEC or MSc or MA in the relevant discipline from any institute in the India right and this is the CGPA criteria okay so if you belong to some IIT or IASC in that case your CGPA should be more than 7.5 if you belong to some NIT or IZER or NIZER or IE, IIEST or some uh, like DAE institute in that case your CGPA should be more than 8 and if you belong to any other institute be it any university private institute in that case your CGPA should be more than 8.5 so this is the eligibility criteria I think you understood that either uh, the, the eligibility criteria says that either you should be in the either you should be enrolled or you should have completed at least two semester of this uh, program in including MSc if I'm talking about chemistry student so for them if you have completed two semesters of MSc and if you are enrolled into it then you can apply for it so basically those who are in the third semester or the fourth semester they can basically apply for that okay if I come a little bit down these are the guidelines so you have to log in and submit your application and view status of your application application need to be submitted through online portal only and applicants need to mention name of five faculty members of their choice from the list of faculty members so you have to basically choose that which faculty member you want to apply and not right Accommodation and mess facil facilities will be provided as they have mentioned and they will be paid by the student living in the hostel. The average cost of housing would be around 5,500 per month including the mess facilities, right? All in turn will be issued a temporary institute ID and library and sport medical computer center and all the facilities you are going to get. Whatever uh, a particular student get in that particular institute, you will be getting a temporary ID for that, okay? And at the successful completion of the internship certificate from the institute will be provided to you right okay so these are the informations about it now let me tell you that how you can apply so basically if you click on this apply button which is over here just click on this and here are two options one is sign into the spark and the second one is hello student if you are if you have not registered yet sign up by filling personal info so of course for the first time you will need to sign up over here so once you click on this sign up uh, 
form will open up like this here you have to register yourself you have to fill your name your email address your gender your graduation level your contact number your college you have to choose a department as well then choose the country then year your cgpa password and confirm password once you do all these things then you will be registered for that okay and once you have registered then you can sign in sign in using your email address and password and that's how you can sign in so once you sign in you have to provide other details also uh, related to your uh, like studies related to your personal details related to your address and all and the certificates which are are being asked so you have to upload all of them and you have to upload your photograph and signature and in that way you also have to select uh, five faculties from the department under which you are willing to do this particular internship program all right so that's all for this particular video i hope you guys understood well and if you belong or if you fulfill all the eligibility criteria please do enroll into it and uh, uh, take the benefit of it apply for this this is a very good opportunity especially for those who are in their master's third semester and fourth semester so that's all for this video see you guys in the next one till then have, have a great day bye bye take care